So not too long ago, Apple released a couple of new updates that gave our everyday devices some new cool features. And in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and go over all those newly added features, which include not just our iPhone, our iPad, and also the Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and begin with the iPhone. Now, if you're on the latest version of iOS, iOS 13.5, this was what they added. The first thing I wanna show you is located inside the music app, the native one by Apple, not Spotify, just music. There's now a new ability where you can actually create custom stories to share on Instagram or Facebook. And no, you do not need to be subscribed to Apple Music in order to use this. The way it works, just simply play whatever track you're listening to, and you, you're gonna notice these three dots right here in the corner. Simply tap on this, tap the share icon, and right here where it lists the apps, look for Instagram or Facebook. Some of you may have to actually go into the More tab, and right here you can scroll down and tap on Facebook or Instagram. But to make it even easier, you can tap the edit icon, hit the green plus, and now it's gonna be in front by default. So you don't have to go into the more tab like what we just did, but simply tap either of those two social media platforms and it's gonna create a custom story. So all that this really does is basically you're just sharing the album and the title track that you're sharing. Audio music isn't playing unfortunately, and no you can't add it even by using the music ad feature that Instagram has, unfortunately. But when you share this, you could do it with either everybody else or close friends. But when you share it, it will basically show your friends or anybody viewing the story, the album cover and where they could go listen to it. Now, if they are subscribed to Apple Music, they could just go on top right here, click on it, and you should be able to quickly open it up in Apple Music. So if you're a subscriber, you should be able to listen to it right away. If not, you could preview it and maybe purchase it. But that's basically all it really does. Now you could do the exact same thing on the iPad. On the iPad, it's the same exact process. But for this preview, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it for Facebook. It's gonna create that same story, very similar to like the Instagram. And you should be able to post it on your Facebook stories. But again, that's basically all it does. It just shows the album cover and you can still add GIFs and such or write some text. Now for both iPhones and iPads that support Face ID, there's a feature now. When Face ID detects that you have a part of your face covered with either an N95 mask, a scarf or something, and you're wearing that, or like currently right now with the pandemic, there's a new feature now where Face ID can detect that you have your face covered. So instead of previously, you had to swipe up a couple of times to get the pin code to pop up. Now, in the first swipe, if you're wearing a mask, the iPhone is gonna immediately prompt you to enter your pin code, saving time and making things less frustrating whenever you're trying to get into your phone without having to remove the mask for Face ID to scan your face. You can quickly enter it right there on your display. And the same thing works with Apple Pay as well or any other third-party app that requires Face ID for authorization. So again, this new feature works on not just the iPhone, but also the iPad Pro with Face ID. Now the third new feature that I got added, there's now a COVID-19 setting on the iPhone that you could opt in if you want to. You could check out this new feature if you go into your settings and go down to privacy and go ahead and click on the health tab. And right here on top, you're gonna see this new message it says COVID-19 exposure logins which will soon be supported by third-party apps right now Apple and Google are in the works of creating an application for this that will utilize this new feature but as the time making this video it's still not available but now you know where you could go in and enable that and not only that you also have access to a bunch of other its settings so here you could see what it does it keeps track of your logs within the 14 days or you may also if you decide to to delete your personal log if in case you just don't feel comfortable but what this allows you to do it's going to make a random id so nothing personal it's going to be shared with anybody everything is going to stay in place on your phone and if another phone doesn't have to be an iphone it could be an android that also has this application and has this feature enabled both devices are going to share information and if one person came in contact with somebody that tested positive during this pandemic, you will be notified that there was possibly a chance you may have been exposed. It uses this by using Bluetooth to detect your range. So that's how it's able to detect and notify you. But again, in order to have this feature enabled, you need to download a third-party app 
that will support this, which during the time making this video, there's no app that supports this just yet. So as soon as that app is released, this is where you go to check out that information and also enable that. Now this fourth feature is somewhat similar to like what Zoom has or other video chat apps now have. You know, when you're chatting with a group with three or more people, as soon as one person is talking, if you're in a large group, their tile will expand. Well, Face ID also got this very similar treatment as well. Both the iPhone and the iPad can now do this. You can find this new setting inside the setting apps if you go back here. And if you go down to FaceTime, if you go all the way down, you're gonna see this new section down here where it says automatic prominence. And by default, this new feature is now enabled. But if you wanna go ahead and disable that, that's where you go in and disable that. But now, whenever you're in a group chat with three or more people and that person is speaking, you'll see their tile expand a bit. This way, nobody like speaks over each other. Again, you can also find this like, same exact setting on the iPad. Now, if you already set up your medical profile ID in the past, there's a new feature, but in case you haven't set it up yet, it's really easy to do so. Simply just go into the health app on your iPhone and right here where it says review medical ID access, when you tap on this, you can review your medical ID and you can fill up as much information as you want, like blood type, weight, height. Most importantly, you could type in the things you're allergic to. You can fill up as much information as you want. And if you have an Apple Watch on you, you can also view this information on your watch by simply holding down the power button once you're done filling up that information. If you slide for your medical ID, it'll show you all that information right there. So in case an EMT gets a hold of you, they could find out everything there is to know about you in case you're unable to respond. This is also including your emergency contact. It's quicker and easier for them to know what things you're allergic to. This way they don't give you the wrong treatment. If you already have your profile set up, there's a new way whenever you call a emergency line and then it will share this information with the emergency responder without having to physically get a hold of your device. This way when they come to your way, they can be prepared and make sure they give you the right treatment. So if you wanna enable this new feature, all you simply gotta do is just go into your iPhone's settings, go down and tap on the health tab and just go click on medical ID. And down here, you're gonna see something that says emergency access. And if you wanna go ahead and enable this, simply just tap on edit, go all the way down and see where it says share during emergency calls. When this is enabled, now whenever you dial 911, they're able to get all this information, saving time and making sure they got the right medication ready and prep for your attention. So that's really neat. This also will show your emergency contact as well in case they got to get a hold of somebody else real quick. But now that's basically it when it comes to new features, new innovations for the iPad and the iPhone. Now let's go ahead and take our focus to the Apple Watch. Now for watchOS 6.2.5, ECG is now fully supported in this country, but we also got five new watch faces and an additional bonus if you have the Nike Plus edition. So the Pride Digital, if you actually go into customize, you not only have 2018, 2019, but now you got the new 2020 refresh. Really clean in my opinion. It's, it kind of reminds me of like light color Skittles. But when you tap on it, it does the same thing like the previous watch face did. Just wiggles around like jello. You can also use the digital crown to move it all crazy like. But that's a new watch face option for the Pride Digital. There's also a new watch face for the Pride Analog. Same thing, jiggles and the crown wheel basically just moves it all violently. I'm like a bad glitch. Numero models also got this new look as well. If you go and customize, you could change it to the rainbow effect as well. And if you have the always on display enabled, it basically looks like this. And then another one is Numero Duo. Again, you gotta go into customize and select the color. And what's the always on display? I think it looks clean. Gradient also got the same treatment. But my favorite one of all, is the new California watch face. Now this kind of gives me like a Razer Chroma vibe. I swear, this looks like something that Razer would make, but it looks fantastic if you have a dark color Apple Watch band with a dark color Apple Watch, like this space gray. I think it looks fantastic, especially with the always on display. But since the Apple Watch we're using in this video is the Nike edition, Nike also got an exclusive rainbow color as well. If you go to the Nike analog here, if you go into customize, this is the new rainbow color option now. You can change it with the other different style watch faces available for the Nike one. But you can leave it with a bunch of dots. And when you close it, that's how it looks like. And the always on display, again, looks like that. 
But other than that, that is the new features, the new stuff we got from these recent updates on our Apple devices. If you're curious what kind of stainless steel band I have on my Apple Watch, I'll make sure to leave it in the description down below. But other than that, that's basically it. Now in a somewhat related topic, if you wanna find out what kind of share this is, I recently reviewed my one year review of it right in this video, which you could go ahead and watch. But if you don't wanna see that, you can always go ahead and watch this video. That is a video that YouTube is suggesting specifically for you. Feel free to watch either or. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.